Hello everybody and welcome to Dan Tarmas Tech and Tech News Update episode 27. So let's kick things off with AMD. The Radeon 7 is proven to be a bit of a flop at the moment for them. This card was meant to be the one to destroy the 2080 and we expected greatness. However, this is not what we've ended up with. At the same price point as the 2080, the Radeon 7 lacks the ability to ray trace and DLSS, which are the added bonus and features of Nvidia's RTX cards. However, AMD can claim that they have the world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU, but how does it perform against the RTX 2080? Well, let's have a look. Over at PC Gamer, there are 17 benchmarks where we can see how the Radeon 7 performs against an RTX 2080. Kicking off with an NVIDIA title, Rise of the Tomb Raider, at 4K high preset SMAA on, the overclocked Radeon 7 falls short of the 2080 by 7 FPS. Moving on to a game that's more optimised for AMD and PUBG, we see that the Radeon 7 overclocked outperforms the 2080 by 5 FPS. So at 5 to 7 FPS less than an RTX 2080, what else can the Radeon 7 be used for? Well, if you're a gamer and content creator, then having 16GB of HPM2 memory is viable. AMD has also increased the FP64 compute performance by 4 times, so from 0.88 teraflops to 3.5 teraflops. So using the Radeon 7 in things like Adobe Premiere at 4K and 8K video encoding, and also looking forward at certain games like Tom Clancy's Division 2 and Far Cry 5 at 4K max settings, then this card does work pretty well. However, moving on to AIBs, and AMD have released a statement that shows ball partners are free to develop modified versions of the Radeon 7. However, none have come forward yet to confirm that they will do so. So, moving away from AMD and on to Nvidia, and we have a further update on the 1660 Ti. And if you watched my video Tech News Update episode 24, I went over some of the leaked specs. However, over at Video Cards, we can see a list of 20 models of the 1660 Ti, and furthermore, Tech Power Up with a few updated specs. So, the card itself is a Palette GTX 1660 Ti, Storm X OC, and the specs that have been updated are 48 ROPs and 192 tensor cores. Regarding the board design itself, it's a two slot card one 6-pin power connector, and the outputs are one DVI, one HDMI, and three display ports. However, the TDP of this card is yet to be confirmed, and we are looking at a release date of the 14th or 15th of February, and a price of around US$279. So that's it today for me, guys. If you did like the video, then please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit that subscribe button. Please do click that bell icon for more notifications from myself, and I shall see you all in the next video.